and thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. In this lecture, we will talk about customer material info records in sales and distribution module in SAP ERP system. Parties to a sale transaction sometimes use different material numbers and descriptions for the same material. A seller may call the material XYZ as the buyer calls that material ABC. So in SAP, you breach this gap using a customer material info records. The purpose of a customer material info record is to maintain the customer specific number and description of the seller's material in the seller's books so as to avoid any confusion that may arise because of different naming conversions used by the buyer and seller for the same material. Once the record is maintained, you can make an order entry using any of the two material identifiers, that is the seller's or the buyer's. You can even print the customer specific material number on the various outputs such as order confirmations and invoices. Now we will take a closer look how to create customer material info record. You create a customer material info record using transaction code VD51 or you can follow menu pass SAP menu Logistics Sales and Distribution Master Data Agreements, Customer Material Information, and you can use VD51 transaction to create Customer Material Info Record, VD52 to change existing Customer Material Info Record, VD53 for displaying custom material info record and VD54 it's a report to display custom material info records. Now we will try, try to create custom material info record so double click on transaction code VD51. Now you see the initial screen for setting up a custom material info record. You can find your customer, click on Find button, and you can see criteria to find a customer number. Just for testing, we will use our existing customer, test customer with number 484 and click enter. System shows you one entry, double click on it. The same with sales organization. I have default settings here, but if I want to change it, I just press find sales organization button. And as usual, I will see list of all sales organizations. And the same with distribution channel. If you want to change distribution channel, just press small find button and you will see the list of all distribution channels. And you can choose necessary distribution channel. After you provide customer, sales organization and distribution channel, you can click on 
enter button and you will see an overview screen for creating custom material info record. On this screen, you can enter material number in the field material number. Just press find button and you will see the list of all materials. When system will show us a list of all materials, we can choose necessary material. Now we see a screen with criteria to find material. If you know specific description, you can enter the description in material description field, or we can use other tabs with additional information. For example, if you know old material number, you can use old material number tab, where you can provide old material number description. Or you can use any other additional tabs, like material by bill of material, material transfer from PAD system, competitive product by competitor, production resources tools by description, sales material by general product hierarchy, material by vendor's material number, material by material category, materials for class, material by material group, material by international article number, materials by several classes, material by product hierarchy, material by task list, sales material by description, material by material type, material by supply area, plant material by description. And you will see additional search help like search help for manufacturer part number and search help for manufacturer part number with the MPL, material for international article numbers, and excise duty material for description. All of these steps have specific information to find your material. As usual, I always use material number or material description tag and provide material description or material number. If you don't know your criteria, just press find button and you will see the list of all materials with maximum number of hits. Now we have maximum number of hits. 500 and we will see 500 material numbers and from that list we will choose our material for our custom material info record double click on matter oil gel just for test and enter the corresponding customer specific material number in the field customer material on this screen you can also maintain the value for the rounding profile and for the unit of measure group to be used with the rounding profile. Rounding profile allows you to round the order proposal quantity and to deliverable units. Apart from facilitating a cross reference between the two materials, a customer material info record allows you to maintain default proposals for delivery tolerance and shipping related data specific to the customer material info record. As usual, these defaults can be overwritten manually in the sales order. Always remember that the defaults you maintain in customer material info records are applicable only to the particular customer and material combination, whereas the defaults maintained in the customer master record are applicable to all the materials ordered by that customer. So we will leave these two fields blank, rounding procedure and units of measure.
In the left corner of the screen, we see a warning message. That material in sales organization and distribution channel is not defined. This means that we can't use this material for our customer material info record. So in this case, we need to change our material. We need to find a material for our combination of sales organization and distribution channel. So we will need to use a find button. Now find sales material by description tab and provide the same sales organization and distribution channel as we defined in our first selection screen. So sales organization is 3, 0, 2, 0 and distribution channel is 3, 0. After that, press Enter, and you will see the list of materials for this sales area. For example, choose Portable DVD player, and press Enter. So for our material number, custom material number will be 150000. Wait until system compiling in separate task program. Just wait a few seconds. And after that, we will continue. And now you see the item screen for your customer material info record. As you can see, this screen allows you to maintain a variety of additional data for your customer material info record and make data searchable. Here are the main properties of the four tabs on the screen. First tab, customer material. This is where you can set up the customer description for the material. The search term field helps you in searching this material in various order processing screens and work lists. You see here customer material, customer description. We will provide description DVD player and search item DVD Next step is shipping This is where you can set a default shipping plan and delivery priority for this customer material info record You can also maintain defaults for a minimum delivery quantity that the customer should purchase for this material. So we can choose our plant. We can choose delivery priority. It will be normal delivery priority. And we can set up minimum delivery quantity. It will be 1000 pieces. Next step is partial delivery. Partial delivery. This is where you can set whether the customer allows partial deliveries for this material. And if yes, then how many partial deliveries can be made. You can also set the range for the delivery tolerance agreed upon with the customer. So we will choose partial delivery item.
parachute delivery allowed and we will see the options here we can choose a for create a delivery with quantity greater than zero b create only one delivery also with quantity equal zero c only complete delivery allowed and d no limit for subsequent deliveries we will choose partial delivery allowed we will leave this field blank next field maximum partial deliveries we will choose 5 partial deliveries allowed and tolerance limit we can choose checkbox unlimited tolerance next step is control data there is only one item item usage on the control data tab this is where you can define the item usage for this material in sales and delivery documents we will choose from the list Just for test example, we will choose shipping unit. And we can fill additional text by going menu go to and press text. We covered text maintains in one of our previous lecture. So we'll see here our text and we can provide here some text. After that, press save button. After you fill in all necessary data, you can press save button. And you have the informational message. Customer material info was saved. So you have successfully created your customer material info record. And now you can go back to the SAP Easy Access screen. In this lecture, we successfully learned about how to create customer material info records in sales and distribution module in SAP ERP system. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.